I command you now. Yes, release that life. Give me that screaming demon right there. Bring her here. I want to pray for her. I can see you're in and out. This is a tormenting spirit that's speaking to your mind. It bothers you. It, it keeps telling these lies and all these things to you. It's twisted around into your mind. It's a python spirit. It's trying to restrict you. It's wanting to bring health problems on your body, all these kinds of things. Is this, who's this? You don't know her? You don't know? Come off of her. Hey, 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 fire. Stand up. Open your eyes. Listen. Tell me what you feel. You're there. You can hear me, right? Okay, so this is trauma. Do you have trauma in your past? I think so when I was a child? Yeah, this is trauma because you're in and out. Sometimes people are really, really demonized and sometimes people are not so demonized. It means that there's just a little area that needs to be burned up. Now listen, the Lord is your Savior, right? Jesus Christ. I can touch your head, this thing will leave. But you have to make sure you're out of agreement with the lie. Are you out of agreement with the lie? Yes, Do you want it anymore? Do you want this spirit to leave? Yes. Is Jesus yes. Lord? You came here for freedom? Yes. Then you should get what you came for. Do you believe the Christ in me can set you free? Yes. You do? Then receive it. <laughs> come off of her. Come off of her. Don't let her coming here be in vain. The Lord is going to honor you. You're going to be completely set free. You will not suffer any longer. You will not suffer anymore. The Lord is cleansing you and releasing you. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. Your sins are forgiven. And as long as you forgive those who have sinned against you, then you will be set free. You will stand and be free. In Jesus' name. I'm just checking. Just checking. Yep. You're going to breathe again. Yeah, watch, you see how you're moving? Watch this. Watch this in the name of Jesus. There you go. Yep. The Lord is healing it. Uh huh. All the way, all the way, all the way, in Jesus' name. Yep, all the way. Release, there you go. Uh-huh. Ah. I'm telling you something crazy is happening right now. Something really wild is taking place right now. Yep. Hey, go ahead. It's, re it's removing itself. It's removing itself. She's going to take that out. She's going to be able to breathe. She won't need oxygen after today. Now, the spirit of death and infirmity, come out of her body. Come out of there. Come out of there. I canceled the assignment, everything that she took in, all inflammation, all the mess. I commanded to go. Can you hear me, woman of God? Take my, take my hand. Take my hand. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stand up. I got you. I got you. Help her up. Help her up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What's your name? Judy. Judy? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Judy. Feel your body. Check your body for me. Huh? I can breathe. I can breathe. Amen. You can breathe? Yeah, I can breathe. <laughs> wow, you really are breathing. <laughs> <laughs> It's Jesus. I've been begging. I've been begging. I've been praying. I've been. Ah. Oh, that's a deep one. I can breathe. I can breathe. You can breathe. She can breathe. If you walk, you'll be able to tell too, right? Take a little bit of walk, see if how you breathe. Is. I told y'all something crazy was happening. Wow. You're breathing. Wow. 
Now, did you come here for a miracle? Yes. I guess you got it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus is alive. Hey, can't stop, won't stop. I see it. I saw an explosion in, in, this, in this area. And I said, Lord, what, is, what are you showing me? And the Lord started to show me about your foundation. I saw the number, uh, I, I believe it's around 42. Now, hold on. I know you're not 42. Just hold on. I saw 42 years of life. Fight, 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 fight. Fight, fight, fight. I saw when you were even like them. La familia. Fight, 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 fight. I believe the Lord was showing me the spine by the Spirit. To, to show me about the foundation of how things have been. You are related? Yeah. Who is I'm this? Her You're her daughter. It goes back to the foundation. What the enemy wants to do is he wants to keep the foundation shaky. Now, I do remember you. Yeah. I remember you had a man with you, right? Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah, he's trucking now. He's trucking, amen. He's providing. Listen, woman of God. I, I don't know how long you've been a Christian. Most of your life? Okay. I want to tell you what's about to happen. The Lord is about to deliver both of you. Now, what has happened is the reason, another reason I see the spine and I see foundation is witchcraft has been attacking your life. I started to see in the spirit. The Lord wants me to remind you of these things. There's been times where it looks like you're going to lose it all. Where everything is about to be lost. But the Lord wants me to remind you that He has always been there at the last minute. And here's why. Prayer. Somewhere this woman was praying. You were saying something to God in your prayers. And it has caused a sustainment in your life. Even the littlest, even the littlest prayers can have the biggest repercussions. The littlest things we say can mean volumes to the Lord. You see, the Lord knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. Bring, us, bring them both here. And because the Lord knows us before we're formed in our mother's womb, both of them. And because the Lord knows us before we are formed in our mother's womb, please translate. He also goes ahead of us and he sees the battles and the problems that have come against us. Now, I know the enemy wants to mess your health up. I know he wants to destroy. That's what he does. There's nothing new, right? But today, the Lord wants your mother to take the weight off. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by His power and His authority, I command all the generational bondage that has followed down the bloodline, that has attacked the foundation, that has come against your lives, I command all 
witchcraft attacks to be loosed from your life now. I command everything that has afflicted both of them, you serpents, you demons, I command you in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let me make sure I don't get an African accent so people don't get crazy. I want to show you I can speak like Mickey Mouse and demons will come out. Hey, you, who do you think you are to put your hands on her? Do you not know I'm a Holy Ghost gangster? Listen, let me get gangster with it because they like that too. Hey, your time, ah, your time in her life, it comes to an end. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, yes, you, you wicked spirit, you will release this girl. You will not torment her. You will not torment her children. You will not destroy her home. The light of Jesus has came. And I command you by his power and his authority. Get out of her. Get out of her. Leave her life. Leave her life. Come on. Come on. Just give me a second. You're being released. It's leaving you now. It's leaving you now. You're being freed. The Lord is setting you free. The torment, the depression, the death, it's all coming out. I feel you getting lighter. Now, be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. 